What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Great Axe Gaming. I am Jax, and we are back with Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Uh, when we last left off, we had just slain Valravin and gotten his mark. When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And there she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the face of everyone. The trees, the mountains, caves. Uh, and now we are about to go onwards to the God of Fire. Everything's still hazy here. Uh, yeah. So, that will be our second key required to unlock the gate to Hell. And Helheim. <sighs> Uh, I am curious. I Don't do this! Can you see the faces too? I'm just not gonna look for them. Fuck you. I have enough issues without adding. Are you serious? Mother? Senua, you have the sight. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. Until? It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time. Okay, so that's another thing I gotta keep an eye out for. Like she's still watching over. She misses. Shit. I am actually really curious to see how different the world of fire is going to be than the world of illusions. So this is going to be interesting. It's it's probably going to be dramatically different. I know we're not going to get any more of those line up the marks puzzles at least. So uh yeah. Now we um Fuck. Oh, okay. Hi! Uh, no. I need to move back. Those pillars are really dramatically fucking with my vision. Oh. Fuck you! You wanna go? No! This focus makes everything way better. Fuck you. That was awesome! I have focus. 
My headphones are not, by the way, sorry about the background, by the way, the barking, my dogs do not know how to be quiet, but also my headphones keep sliding out of my ears, and it's annoying. The Northmen say that in the beginning, there was nothing but darkness, bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became... Oh my god, dogs. Fucking dogs. Sort, the fire giant has answered. He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua. And spill his blood. Let's do this. For Dillion, for Druth, for everybody. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast. He was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. <gasps> the there. Northman. Senua. Senua. We each walk these lands, gazing towards different horizons. Some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see. But there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do. It's good I'm going down the side path first. One thing I do like is it does seem I regain health during combat as well to make the fights a little less difficult. They're still tough, don't get me wrong, like a few missed time mistakes. Because you want to get that perfect block so you can get strikes in. But a few missed timing mistakes and you're a fucking bone. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the sun, bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds, and is now the land of the fire giants. And people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there. Guess where we're going? But if that, I, I do want to know where the, what the, I'm going to have to do some research after I finish this game. Just because I want to learn more about certain things in this game I haven't figured out yet. One thing I have noticed that, as I get older is I'm getting more and more interested in like the rustic woodwork and the, the aesthetic of this kind of stuff. Oh no. Rather than the whole Art Deco Neon I used to be really in favor of. Be afraid, but do not let your fear control you. nothing up here. Oh, damn it. There's nothing up here. This is a dead end. So it looks like we have to go to the giant gate. What, do you think I didn't see this? Yeah, I saw it. I didn't want to rush right towards it because side paths are important. Oh, look.
Yes, I heard their screams, and I still hear them now. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Are they screaming? Whoa. You know, that looks remarkably like Fenris from uh from the end of uh what's it? Through the woods. Screams will help you. There. The path to Helheim is sealed to the living. Fucking dog we hair. already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. Oh look, more corpses! When I first came to my lands, I knew enough of their tongue to beg for mercy. And they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, slavery to many lands. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. That sounds kind of like Matt Mercer! Anyways, that's it for this episode. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, share it on social media, all that good stuff. 
If you want to buy me a coffee, link's down below. I greatly appreciate that. That would be awesome. Uh, you can also just throw donations there if, if you want me to get a game, any particular game. If you want me to play a particular game, you can either send it to me on Steam. If that's uh, that, if somebody does that, it's a guaranteed video. You can request it. That's a most likely video once I get the money to actually get the game. And all of that good stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. Later, y'all.